Welcome back to Whole Future, guys. Today's topic, fruits and vegetables vibrate. Now, I had heard a lot about this ever since I got into eating a raw foods, or at least predominantly raw foods diet, that fruits and vegetables are high vibration. There's like high vibration and then there's low vibration. So if things vibrate up here, they're high vibrate. No, 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 no. That's frequency. Fruits and vegetables vibrate at a very high frequency. I was skeptical about this. I looked it up. I did some research. It's true. In fact, proteins inside cells of all living organisms vibrate. And that's kind of what causes it. And yes, fruits and vegetables have protein. They're cells. All cells have protein in them. Oh, gasp. Wow, crazy information, right? So... Fruit just happens to be the highest frequency vibrating plant on the planet. The highest vibrating living thing on the planet. And when I say highest vibrating, I mean highest frequency. Just for all you scientific folks who want to hold my feet to the fire on that. Thank you for doing that because there's a lot of woo-woo stuff about, I'm going to raise my vibration, you know, and uh, <laughs> raise your frequency. So, I've been experiencing this more and more. I took a road trip this weekend with some friends to a chiropractic seminar, and they all pretty much eat, you know, normal ways, and uh, I was had to, you know, keep doing what I do on this trip, so I packed up a bunch of fruit, and we were traveling up uh, the coast of California, so there's lots of farms and stuff in central California, and we stopped at a fruit stand that was like a family farm. And they had cherries and strawberries. And I looked at it and I was like, oh, it looks okay. I tasted and I wasn't too impressed. Kind of a fruit snob. The strawberries were pretty good. But I didn't feel like I had plenty of fruit. They like wanted to buy fruit. And so I was good. I didn't, I didn't buy any. But they're like, pick some out for us. So I kind of looked at it. And then I just kind of like closed my eyes and grabbed the one that I just knew was the right one. They're like, and the, and the people who worked at the farm were like, oh yeah, that's definitely the best batch right there. It's like, I had a sixth sense about it, like a spidey sense. You might call that vibration. Like I could just close my eyes and I could just feel the ones that I was like most attracted to. Okay. And this happens to me at the farmer's market, at the wholesale market. It's like there's certain fruit when I get in proximity of it, I just know, I just know that it's going to be good. And part of the problem is that sometimes there's fruit that I just, it looks good or for some reason I decide I, like, like I get sold on it or the price is really low and it's like the gut six senses, no, no, this is no good. That stuff always turns out to be bad. So, of course the strawberries were good, but this is why it feels so good to go grocery shopping. This is why it feels amazing to be at the wholesale market. I love the wholesale market. There's so much produce there. It's all vibrating. Uh, you know, we're having constructive interference of my own cells with the vibration of all the produce. Yes, there's some like low frequency vibrating stuff there, but so much of it, it's just like, you feel amazing. You go to the, people love going to the farmer's market. You watch all these YouTube videos of people doing like the high carb vegan diet and they're like loving going to the, the produce market. They're loving going to the fruit festivals. They're loving keeping like tons of fruit in their house. It's because it's part of the reason is that your body senses the vibration, maybe on like an unconscious level. You have something called unconscious proprioception in the uh, posterior part of your spinal column. Look it up. You can sense this vibration even if it's not like the way you would touch a tuning fork. Your body has a way of sensing it and this is why you feel so damn good around lots of fruit. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Anyway, that's a video for today. Would love to hear your thoughts on this subject. Do you feel that fruit has a vibration? Fruits and vegetables, do you, if you notice that you just feel good being at a place where there's a lot of it, whether it's a grocery store or a farmer's market or whatever. I would love to hear everybody's thoughts on this. Do you think the whole idea of fruits and vegetables vibrating is a bunch of woo-woo nonsense that has no scientific data to back it up? Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. 
give this video a thumbs up. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. You can also check out these two popular videos. Subscribe to my channel and be sure to check me out on Instagram and Facebook as whole future as well.